Douglas W. Hubbard, How to Measure Anything, Finding the Value of Intangibles in Business. Embark on a journey through the pages of a How to Measure Anything, Finding the Value of Intangibles in Business by Douglas W. Hubbard, exploring the essence of successful measurements in various aspects of decision-making. This book summary delves into vital themes including the misconception of intangibles, varying measurement methods, and the importance of uncertainty reduction to risk assessment. Business executives will acquire valuable insights on topics as diverse as calibrating probabilities, Monte Carlo simulations, and deriving measurements from heterogeneous benchmarks. Measuring the unmeasurable Executives are often hesitant to measure intangible factors that can impact business decisions. However, anything that can be seen, felt, or sensed can be measured with the right framing. The goal of measurement is not to attain exact answers but to reduce uncertainty and ambiguity in decision-making. The belief that some things cannot be measured leads to making decisions with imperfect knowledge. Adequate data is often more accessible than executives think, and they need less data than they believe. By reframing queries and approaching measurement with an open mindset, executives can make more informed decisions. Measuring the immeasurable The concept of measuring intangibles is often met with resistance from people who don't understand what measurement means, can't clarify what needs measuring, or don't know how to measure. However, with a clear understanding of the purpose of measurement as uncertainty reduction, rather than elimination, and the right techniques, even seemingly immeasurable concepts can be accurately measured. This has been successfully demonstrated by individuals such as Eratosthenes, Enrico Fermi, and fourth grader Emily Rosa. By utilizing simple observations and known measurement methods, anyone can measure and gain insight into seemingly intangible concepts. Understanding Uncertainty versus Risk To effectively measure any situation, it's crucial to distinguish between uncertainty and risk. Uncertainty refers to the presence of multiple possibilities, each with varying probabilities. On the other hand, risk refers to various possible outcomes with quantified losses. Defining a confidence interval can help to understand the range of probabilities likely to contain a solution. Once the confidence level is established, risks associated with each decision can be evaluated. Avoid using soft risk scoring methods as they don't provide an accurate assessment of the risk. Instead, use Monte Carlo simulation to get an idea of the possible outcomes. Fermi developed the first Monte Carlo simulations, and many organizations today, including financial institutions, meteorologists, and NASA, use this technique. Finally, remember that even fuzzy measurement can give you valuable insights, and observations can tell things you didn't know earlier, if you approach it creatively. Valuing your data Understanding the importance of data value in decision-making and beyond Data value is a crucial decision factor in measuring and determining what to measure. The value of data serves three significant purposes, including reducing doubts about financial choices, influencing the behavior of others, and having its own market value. The significance of data value is highlighted by decision theory, which asserts that better decisions result from improved information. By understanding the expected opportunity loss, the cost of errors, and the likelihood of being wrong, companies can make sound decisions. Furthermore, Measuring productivity may boost worker output, and data can be sold, highlighting its own market value. The Art of Measuring Anything The book teaches readers that successful measuring requires the right tools, such as physical devices and questions on a survey. It explains that tools help extend observations, rebalance data, and document results. One valuable measurement method is decomposition, breaking complex problems down into smaller, easier-to-understand components. According to the book, the Internet is an essential tool for measuring, and observing skills can be sharpened by following clues obtained from several search engines. The author also discusses useful tools such as observation, tallying, sampling, tracing and experimentation.
the book advises on bringing experience and knowledge to bear on what you're measuring to provide context and scale for a better understanding. It further emphasizes the application of heterogeneous benchmarking in comparing disparate factors to prioritize and gauge qualitative impacts. Finally, it suggests combining human insight with scientific data to obtain the best measurement. Measuring Subjective Choices All subjective aspects are human choices. The best way to determine personal preferences is by assessing an individual's willingness to pay, WTP, for those preferences. To avoid response bias, concise and straightforward questions are recommended. The WTP method also works as a corrective to those who argue against measuring the value of human life or a species. Analysts have found that statistical models, rather than expert advice, provide better guidance for evaluative purposes. For instance, creating a return on management ratio to measure executives' managerial effectiveness or assessing each baseball player's influence on winning games and tying that to their individual remuneration. Remember, it is better to be approximately right than precisely wrong. The power of measurement. Technology has greatly expanded measurement capabilities through RFID tags that accurately track items and people at low cost. Transportation firms and conferences utilize this technology, allowing more exact assessments of their operations. Additionally, infodemiology uses the internet to track disease outbreaks, and prediction markets allow people to exchange information and forecast potential success in innovations. Measuring is about reducing uncertainty when individual observations cannot, and these new technologies offer a promising future for accurate assessment. In conclusion, how to measure anything emphasizes that anything can be measured, even in tangible aspects which are often undervalued. By refining user inquiries and understanding the nuances of measurements, decision makers can reduce uncertainty and make better choices. Utilizing tools like the Rule of Five, Monte Carlo simulations, and sophisticated online data gathering, businesses can make grounded and accurate decisions. Achieving a clearer comprehension of the relationships between uncertainty, risk, and decision-making will significantly improve the outcomes of strategic choices. Hubbard's insightful work demonstrates that combining diverse measurements, innovative thinking, and a little creativity can lead to invaluable results.